Time now to check our Sunrise Smart Start. The Soda Central School District will reopen today after a deadly double shooting forced schools to close there. As police continue the search for the suspect, we are learning more about the victims. 24-year-old Amber Washburn and 28-year-old Joshua Niles. We're told Niles was the father of three, Amber the mother of his youngest. Governor Cuomo and Republican challenger Mark Molinaro squaring off in their debate last night. The two sparred over a range of issues, including fiscal responsibility and corruption. Three third-party candidates, Stephanie Miner, Howie Hawkins, and Larry Sharp, were left out of this debate. To see the full debate, head to our website at rochesterfirst.com. The city of Rochester moving ahead with a plan to build a new performing arts center, but it won't be on Parcel 5. It'll be on the Genesee River, a few blocks away from it. The developer wants to tear down the old Radisson Hotel and build the Golisano Performing Arts Center. That center would include a theater, the Rochester Broadway Theater League, a hotel, apartments, and shops. The price tag, an estimated $200 million. Well, the chairman of the board of commissioners of the Rochester Housing Authority is facing criminal charges. George Moses, seen here, is accused of lying to the FBI. The FBI claims Moses and the Housing Authority did business with a company that was owned by Rochester City Councilman Adam McFadden, who at one time was the interim executive director for the Housing Authority. Federal prosecutors say Moses denied knowing about the business transactions involving McFadden's company. They claim that was a lie. Moses is taking a leave of absence pending the outcome of the investigation. Chilly, damp, dark, dreary, and you didn't hit the jackpot this morning. But it's okay. It's all good. But uh, we still are optimistic anyway about uh, getting through the middle of the week uh, with uh, a lot of clouds outside right now. You can see the view from Pinnacle Hill. At times, uh, features a little bit of drizzle and some uh, rain. All this coming in off the big lake. Temperatures starting out near 40 with the wind out of the northwest. There will be additional bands of uh, lake rain coming on through perhaps even a wet snowflake or two, especially in the hilltops well south of Rochester. Temperatures are solid uh, 10 to 15 degrees below normal today. Definitely need the fall gear and at times the rain gear as well. All right, be prepared for that. That's right. Thank you very much and thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise.